and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create this polygon masking effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let us start with the original, I've got it on a white background and then I press Ctrl T and I'll resize that. I might resize that later on a little bit more. For now that should be fine. The next step is to create a polygon. Use the shape tool for that. You want to have a fill and no stroke. The color, color is not important, but make sure it's a shape in the top menu. Hold shift when you drag that and place your mouse so that you have this polygon shape. Then hold alt and drag a copy to the right and then use the arrow keys. I go 10 steps to the right. I hold shift and I click on both layers and then I hold alt and drag a copy out of it. And the smart guides, they help me in positioning that correctly. I need one more copy of that. And the last one, you can't see that I can delete this layer. Select all the shapes. Once again, hold shift for that. And hold alt, drag a copy out of it and position it. Just at the center of the first row polygons. Then use the arrow keys to position that from the top down. Once again, I'll go 10 steps. So I group all of these. It's easier to see which is which when you have these groups, but you don't necessarily have to do that. I'll just do that for myself. It's kind of like a, like a habit to group everything in Photoshop. Make sure you've got it all selected. You can use once again, shift for that, hold alt again, drag a copy out of that group. And the smart guides, they help us in positioning that. But you can also use the arrow keys once more. But maybe you want to add some individual polygons where you didn't cover the whole image. It's the same process. Make sure you've got your auto select checked and then hold alt and drag a copy out of the ones that are kind of like on the edge. So that's fine. Let me group all of these in a master group. So again, select them all, then press Ctrl G. Now I'll put the original on top, then right click and create a clipping mask. When you want to resize it, press Ctrl T again. That should be a good position. Now let me copy the master group of polygons and I'll put it on top. It's crucial to have this auto select function of the move tool activated and then select the polygons that you want to delete. Now where you want to see the photo, just click on it with a left click and then use the delete button to get rid of them. So it's just a question of taste. What you delete, the ones that remain black, these are the ones I'm going to give a different color afterwards. And I've used the blending option for some of these. So just right click on the folder, then blending options, give it a color overlay. If you want to use the same, here's the hex code. All right, all of the blacks are gone. And now I want to get rid of some of the polygons that I use as a mask for the original image. And it's the same process. So just click on them and delete them. I reposition some of the polygons. It's very easy when you've got the auto select button checked in the top menu.
All right, I'm fine with this design. Let me add some text on the left hand side. And this is how you can recreate this polygon masking effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.